This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 4, this is Section 2. Raising the Self World Concept to Awareness Truth is Peace happiness, joy and freedom. Truth is an experience of the heart. Truth cannot be described or explained. By the time it is experienced, the hows and whys have been dissolved. Truth is approached through negation, through becoming aware of all that is false and from withdrawing belief from all illusion. All that is false is to be released. Illusions are transcended by raising them into awareness. When all illusions are uncovered and revealed as one, that is, the ego tree trunk and its many branches are all one tree, truth is made welcome. Seeing the barrier completely and bringing it fully into awareness automatically shines it away. Seeing the barrier only partially, that is some of the branches, is not to see at all. Consciousness is the domain of the ego. It is made up of concepts and images the subject and the object, observer and observed, me and other, the individual and the collective. The dream figure and the dream are not different at all. They are but concepts, images. They are the ego. Divine mind is the reality of identity in God. Experiencing this is freedom. Friend Free will is God's and Christ's. Ego will is the belief that reality is fragmented and can be chosen or selected from and that choice between images in the field is possible. David, ego will is an effort to bring about a change, an improvement, by juggling and rearranging the concepts and images in the field, in the hope of future happiness. This illusion of change is not transformative, because it is still within the field. True change is a radical transformation of the mind. This occurs only when the mind sees the entire field, consciousness itself, from a completely different purpose or frame of reference. The false self or ego is the image maker and the images it makes. It is the persona, mask, which covers over or hides abstract reality from awareness. It is a self-concept comprised of concepts. It is fragmented into the person, a fragment, other people, fragments, and the surrounding world or cosmos, still more fragments. And it is that which made or thought them all up. In other words, ego is both the thinker and the thoughts, the image maker and the image. Freedom is the realization that reality is whole and can only be accepted in this instant. It is not made up of and selected from images. 
The concept of choice vanishes with this acceptance. For in reality, there is nothing to choose between. It sees that future happiness was just a concept. It sees that past guilt was just a concept. It sees that striving and efforts were just concepts. Present reality is changeless and tranquil, devoid of all concepts. Let us take an even closer look at letting go of the self-concept. As long as the mind identifies with the dream figure and the world, it cannot help but believe that there are real problems to solve and lots to be done in order to solve them. Action or doing implies a body to act or do. Yet, whenever a decision in mind is made based on fear, the mind will retain fear. Judgment invites fear. Thoughts of consequences, outcomes, be they judged favorable or unfavorable, desirable or undesirable, or all merely self-concept thoughts about the dream and have nothing to do with one's real self. The only choice available for a mind perceiving this world is which inner guide it will view the play of the world with. The spirit or the ego? If anything in the script seems unsettling at all, it is just another chance to notice the mind's identification with the ego self-concept and to release the thought. When one remembers one's function of forgiveness, releasing illusions, and holds this purpose clearly in mind, it does not matter at all what film seems to be playing or how the plot seems to be unfolding. Content is purpose in the mind. The state of mind, that is, peace or upset, is not dependent on outcome or appearances, but only on which guide, spirit or ego, is called upon to watch with. The ego's lens is always dark, and the spirit always views a clear and light and beautiful world. Spirit is without judgment and is therefore without condemnation. It must surely become clear that one cannot retain a single shred of the self-concept and understand true forgiveness. One must choose between them and ultimately accept the reality which is, the truth which has no opposite. True meditation is simply emptying consciousness of all it contents, that is, time, space, thoughts, concepts, ideas and beliefs. All these concepts, images, beliefs and thoughts are rooted in linear time. The only reason for the ego's complexity and busyness is its denial that now is the only time there is. The self-concept, which is a time-space-matter-identity association, is what is atoned for or corrected. The acceptance of the atonement or the decision to hold the one purpose of the spirit is what one is responsible for, 
that is, not for the error, but for accepting the correction. Any time one wishes for the script to go a certain way, one has made a judgment of form and holds an expectation. Any expectation is a choice to forget the one purpose of spirit and reflects the belief that there is something of value outside oneself. All ego goals spring from the self-concept and have nothing to do with one's own best interests and everything to do with maintaining the self-concept. By first becoming aware of illusions and then ceasing to invest in them by giving faith to a unified purpose for the world, the illusions fade away and one remembers oneself in spirit. Ye shall have no idols before God translates into You shall retain no self-concept if you shall know God. For oneself is created eternal and is far beyond any concept or image. Prayer is the desire of the heart. When prayer is purified, the remembrance of truth springs to mind as divine mind. Let thine eye be single is a way of saying, Let thy prayer be for the living one, for love is what you are. Love is all there is. Such is the glory of God.